Here is another very interesting video based on question from my student Amy. She is preparing for final exams at Excel level A. It is based on composite functions. I hope with this solution you will get some concepts which are going to help you in long run. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given. Let us enjoy the journey of success. In this video, we'll understand a very important question based on composite functions. We are given f of x equals to e to the power of 2x plus 9 and g of x equals to ln x plus 1. We need to find f of g of x and state its range. We need to solve f of g of x equals to 73. That means find the value of x for which f of g of x is equal to 73. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by finding the function of function which is f of g of x. We can write this as f of g of x is given to us as ln x plus 1. f of x is e to the power of 2x plus 9. So we can write this as e to the power of 2. Parameter now is ln x plus 1. So we are going to write this ln x plus 1 for x plus 9. Now e and ln are inverse functions, right? So we may simplify this and write as e to the power of ln x plus 1 whole square plus 9. Now ln and e are inverse functions. So we can write this as x plus 1 whole square plus 9. So that gives you the f of g of x. So that is one part of part a. Now let's look into the range of the question. So, so let me first write down what the composite function is. f of g of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square plus 9. Now many of you will think that the range is, since this is a parabola opening upwards, greater than or equal to 1 and that is what we need to check. So let's try to understand the range part. So we have just shown that f of g of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square plus 9. Now the inside function is g of x. Let's analyze g of x. g of x is equal to ln x plus 1. So that means the domain is what? Domain is that x has to be greater than minus 1, right? Since natural law is only defined for positive values greater than 0, right? So that gives you x greater than minus 1. Since the domain is minus 1, this particular parabola, which you are looking at the function, will look like what? With the vertex at minus 1, this parabola is going to go like this. You get the idea. So that is how the parabola is going to be. And therefore, we can write the range of f of g of x as y greater than 9, right? It is not equal to 9. So y greater than 9. You get the idea. Since this point is minus 1, 9. So of course it is greater than 9, but not equal to 9. So that is a critical part to understand when we write down the range of this function. Now, many students might 
do this mistake. So that is to be taken care of. Now let's see how do we do f of g of x equals to 73. Solve this particular equation. So, so the equation for us is f of g of x equals to 73. f of g of x we just found is x plus 1 whole square plus 9 and that is 73. So we can solve this as 73 minus 9. So we get x plus 1 whole square equals to 64. And now we can find the value of x plus 1 which is square root of 64. Now when you do square root of 64 you could have two answers plus and minus but remember the domain here is what? Domain is that x is greater than minus 1, correct? And range is that y is greater than 9. And therefore, when we look into the x value here, we cannot take plus and minus because negative part will be less than minus 1, right? So we have to consider only the positive value x is minus 1 and square root of this is 8 plus 8 and that gives you the value of x as equal to 7, correct? So we know that the solution here is x equals to 7. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. So I hope you understand and appreciate this strategy. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address too. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.